Insert Combat Operative Identification Nexus. Okay, so gonna do a um, quick video of mode. Um, I just tried loading this up and it's telling me I don't have an active campaign, but I'd put in uh, a good, I don't know, three hours into this before um, and it's lost my campaign data and the only reason I can think of that is because of the recent update and if that's the case I'll be pissed but anyway uh, I guess I have to do a new campaign So, for you that don't have this game, um, you all know what Battlezone is, or you should do. Um, and this is the VR version made by Rebellion. It's pretty impressive. I like it. Um, you have this uh, map in front of you, as you can see there, and you go to each section um, and you play a mission in that and you unlock each section and move along get your upgrades and your objective is to get to the uh, Nexus there uh, and you do a big battle there and you have these sub points uh, along the way that you have to destroy so those three uh, white um, beacons there I need to destroy um, anyway uh, let's just get on with it and you can have a look and see what it looks like um, just to note, I like to play this in my office chair instead of sitting on the couch. Um, and I've got one of the little vibrating uh, back things which I switch on, give me, which gives me you know, a little rumble effect on my chair um, when playing this. Makes it a little bit more immersive um, if any of you suffer from motion sickness. Um, I do the same thing for my other cockpit games like Eve Valkyrie and Riggs. Uh, so, let's... Haven't played this for a, about a month. Press X to launch too. mission. Here's my cockpit. Check out my classic uh, mode video. A little bit earlier. You want to see the free classic mode that they added? It's just a short experience. Um, it would have been nice if they'd have made this main game uh, classic mode switchable, so you could play this in classic mode. That would have been very nice. Probably technically, Press maybe wouldn't work very weapons. well identifying your target. Aim and fire at the target above. Blaster, shoot the target to continue. Confirmed. Outer doors opening. And with this game, uh, it's a look around. So you use your VR headset to just look around and you use your controller to shoot, move and aim. Hell the attack. Enemy detected. Get ready. Light armor incoming. Threat level low. items that they drop so there's a bit of looting help your upgrades and ammo
for use against heavy units. Stay out of sight and shoot them at long range. Guided missile armed. Hold R2 to highlight the target. Release to launch a missile. Oh. It's a nice game. Um, it's, and as you get going, I mean, you customize your tank, upgrade your weapons. Um, it's quite good fun. And you have uh, the ability to play co op online if you've got many friends that have VR in the game. Otherwise, play with some randoms. I do like the menu system in this game, has to be said. It's just a, a, a good game all around, really. Uh, this is probably one of the full price games that's actually worth the money, if you ask me. Uh, the other ones, like Eve Valkyrie, um, don't really justify uh, the full price. Um, I mean, they're great tech great technically but the single player campaign in Eve Valkyrie is way too short and if you're not into multiplayer um, then you know you've you know spent quite a bit of money for it and plus the fact that they put in trans microtransactions just taking the piss um, and rigs rigs again is you know a good game technically and a good multiplayer game um, but for the full full asking price, it's yeah. I mean, you really have to be into that sort of game. Whereas this one, um, for the full asking price, the single the campaign on this is um, excellent. You can replay it, and each time it's different. So um, well worth the money if you haven't got it already. I would I, I would recommend it. Um, get hold of a demo, uh, borrow a friend's version, and. And you can see there, I can move um, to my next squares, and you can drop probes to see what sort of mission it would be. So I've activated my next uh, zone, and I can drop a probe there, or I can drop a probe next to one of the others. It costs me credit that I've earned. Um, so if I do that... There. tells me that it's tutorial and I can now access those other zones after I've completed this next one. Uh, for your loadouts, uh, do L1. The menu pops up, it's quite nice. Uh, obviously I haven't really unlocked anything but can uh, unlock stuff, upgrade stuff, which is new upgrades, which we've got this one here. Let's um, see if I can buy a mod if I've got enough. No, not enough data. Um, oh, so I've got one there. So let's do, for example, shield front. So you can um, basically, you know, max your tank out, and by the time you get to uh, the final part of the campaign and be a bit of a badass um, but it is it's a 
a really nice game. Um, very polished, good menu system, controls work well, and it works well in VR. Um, the enemy see. base, but block them from hacking yours. Data yeah. store detected nearby. Large data payout will be awarded on conversion. You see the your radar there. So it's just nice. Just a nice game. Great presentation. Um, like I say, if you haven't got it and you're interested in it, get hold of the demo, have a play, um, borrow a friend, have a play. It's, um, it's one of the better VR games. Well, it is a VR game where a lot of the other stuff are tech demos, experiences, in my opinion. Uh, this one you can definitely come back to um, play over and over. Uh, use different tanks, max your stuff out. Um, yeah. now I just want to play it. <laughs> I can't believe I lost all my campaign uh, progress. I really do hope that wasn't from the latest update because if it was I'd be pissed. don't really get any sense of motion sickness really a little bit I guess if you play, if you play it for too long and neutralized. Extraction in four, three, two, one. Anyway, that's a quick glimpse of Battlezone for the PSVR. Check it out for yourself if you haven't got it already. And if you see me online playing it, there's my gamer tag, Billy the Fish. Jump in and join in for a game. Take care guys and girls, thanks for watching.